Hey, man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest ISO God of all times. Listen up, man. I have just broke the game. I have just broke the game. This shit is finna become the wave, my boy. It is finna become the wave 100%. I have found the best stretch big build that's gonna make it a lot easier for y'all ISO players, for y'all screen users, for y'all whatever, bro. I have broke the fucking matrix. I have found the code, right? And also... Not just for being a stretch big, not just for running the two spot, the three spot, the pro-am spots, you know, not just that, bro. You can now run point guard with a pure stretch big with 30 shooting badges, right? I'm going to tell you how, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, if you guys didn't know, Dexing is back. Dexing is back. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a broken mechanic that just ruined 2K. It's when in 2K17 it was introduced. Back then, it uh, ruined the game, um, made it take no skill, and all these YouTubers blew up off of it and all this other stuff. Starting in 17, 18, 19. He finally took it out in 20. Now it's seeming like it's back in uh, 21. I'm pretty sure niggas is going to catch on. But um, the L2 plus the deck scene, it makes it um, these guys very good. And you got like quick burst it might not be as fast but it is effective you know slippery off balls helping you get open real quick shooting <laughs> very easy in this game especially on a build like this but anywho let's get into it bro we're basically creating the shot creating stretch from uh 2k19 i think it was in 18 too bro um yeah so look <laughs> check me out bro so look the position we're going to go power forward right I've checked every single position, and this is the best for badges, attributes, and um, speed, just overall. It's, it, it's the best, trust me. Oh, but before we get into everything, make sure y'all subscribe if you know. 300K on the way, help a young nigga grow, hit up that like button. If you believe Ali Oop's success needs to be nerfed, because it's broken. But yeah, go whatever hand you want. 25 for my nigga Kobe, you know, it's Kobe in the comments, you know what I mean? So look, pure, now look, to make stretch bigs, bro, you can either do, well, actually, there's 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 multiple pie charts now. You know, this one, this one, this one. And by the way, check out all my other build videos. I got all the best builds in the game on this bit. So look, we're gonna go with this pie chart right here, okay? Very broken, right? <laughs> Very broken, right? You know, pure green shooting, running point power forward you know being able to stop centers because paint defense is buffed hey man if they nerf paint defense this might not be able to run the two spot as much or the three spot as much on the threes but now it going right now it, it currently can bro and then especially since um it seemed like people are struggling with shooting right now like people can just like you can have builds with 10 badges guard ball you know but anywho so look listen i would say go pure speed strength does not matter you want to go pure speed for all your dexing ability all that other stuff but if you don't believe in that you want to make them more traditional you're never going to learn how to dex burst off ball you know play real skillful well not skillful because this build takes no skill but if you're not going to do all that extra stuff y'all know the stretch bigs i'm talking about then you don't really need to go with this pie chart, you know? You go with the vert pie chart or, like, the balance, you know, so you get strength and all that other bullshit. And then if you still want to have 30 shooting badges and shoot in the over 90 ratings, because, look, look, what I'm going to show y'all is how to build him perfectly and still be in that 90-plus attribute cap. Because once you're in the 90 attributes, um, something happens to where it's just very easy to shoot. Okay, like just very easy. And I'm gonna show y'all a glitch with the overall shooting badges. I'm gonna show y'all a glitch. And it's just like, you're never going to miss, bro. I promise you. So look, I'm gonna go with the pure speed pie. You can go with whatever you want. Now look, so, you know, you could go more playmaking. You could do no finishing, right? And then have like 14 playmaking if you want, but you're not really getting good badges, right? Um. You still can do that, right? If you want, you can get like 14, see, look. Or you don't have to do pass accuracy. And if like you want to be baby and guards and stuff, you could do this. And um, yeah, 
you will still will actually know. If you want to baby guards or something, you think you don't need no playmaker, you can do some stupid shit like this, but nah. You know, go with the four playmaker. Unpluckable st stuff like that. But um, you could take all this finishing off, get like 14 playmaking. You know, you only I'll, I'll show you. I'll show y'all. You don't you don't really get like crazy stuff. Like you get quick first step. Um, I mean, but you can get shot creating takeover and break people. You know, like eh, I I don't, I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to speed boost with this build. I don't know, but um, there's definitely other stretch bigs. But look, so here's why we went with this, right? Close shot cheese, just like shot creators, right? You know, shot create. This is why this is the best stretch big. Okay, you got your little driving layup. You don't need all that dunk and stuff. The sh sh shot close cheese. You're bursting everywhere. You can abuse the close shot cheese. Even though it goes in without it, especially with a rating and 30 shooting badges, nigga, you're going to be fucking unstoppable, nigga. You're going to be unstoppable. 30 shooting badges, right? You're going to have over a 93 in midi. Fading God, you can do everything, you know? You got your playmaking up. You're going to not get ripped like that. Um, you're gonna have some playmaking and your defense. This is enough defense to guard centers, all that other stuff. You're gonna be good, bro. You feel me? Now look, we're gonna go burly. Since you're a stretch, you wanna be as big as possible for for centers, etc. Y'all spam up burly gang down in the comments. You part of the real nigga academy, my boy. Now look, you can't if you're less of a cheeser, you know, you don't have much skill, man. You you can rock it like these, right? You 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 can rock it at six nine, bro. Rock it at six eight, bro. You feel me? If you're more worried about guarding the three spot, toxic niggas, stuff like that, you can still get all the benefits of this build, but still rocking six nine and six eight. Um, the highest I would go on this, man, bro. Honestly, bro. To be honest, if you're not a cheeser, bro. You can go 6'10, 6'9, you feel me? But I recommend 6'7, bro. Cause look, look what happens. Look at all that shooting, bro. You feel me? Look at all that shooting, all that ball handling, bro. Will you be able to speed boost with I I, I gotta check. Y'all, y'all do the math for me. I don't know, bro. Like, look, look, you can guard ball better, your lateral quickness is better, and all these stats are going to be improved even more, bro. You're gonna be in the 90 shooting rating and all that. But if you worry about running the two spot you think they gonna nerf paint defense stuff like that you know you can go six eight my boy but personally bro and then you could run point with this too man it's broken bro i know people are gonna start posting videos about it and all this other stuff i don't know bro i would go six seven and guess what look at this we're gonna go lowest weight for more speed bro i don't give a fuck what it does to uh interior d uh, I don't care about strength, but interior D, that shit matter. You can keep the strength the same or heighten it. You know, it's up to you, bro. Let's see. Oh, damn. You know, look. So, look. If you not much of a cheeser, you could go 6'7", bro. And buff up that interior. You almost got a 70 interior, bro. It, it's up to you, though. You know, you still get all the benefits. Me, personally. Straight cheese shit. These are these are the niggas I want on my team, bro. You know, I want them Dexon being crazy. I want them being gods. If you're not that good, you know, you can alter the weight and the height for you, okay? Now, I would go max wingspan, bro. And here's why. You know, play way better defense. Um, The driving layup, the close shot cheese goes up. Look at that. Shit broken, right? Now... Your shooting stats do do go down. Your ball handle don't even go down. The shooting stats do go down. But listen, once you grind them out, upgrade them, stuff like that, you get over a 90. 90 is the sweet spot that just make it very easy and all this other shit. If you're going to run point with this dude and stuff, you could do some cheesy shit like this. You feel me? But still, even if you're going to run point, you could, um, you should, um, still do max wingspan type shit. I, I, I would rock this, bro, to be honest. But yeah, max wingspan. You can go shot creator. You know, you're going to be running the one on the twos and or all this other stuff. You want to really fade, fade, fade. You know, get the boost in the midi like that. But I, I, I say sharp take better than shot creator take.
you're not really going to be fading like that you feel me like really fading and guess what fading at the three um i think fading at the three sharp take is better but if you're gonna be fading at the midi and stuff like that um th this is the one but um i think overall sharp take is better you shoot from deeper um yeah bro uh, i know you'll get this faster because it's more all around um but i would go sharp take bro you feel me now i'm finna show you all the best badges to and bam you a stretch four my boy kevin love and uh, bow john nigga they got these little lame niggas Let's make sure y'all subscribe my boy support a real nigga make sure y'all follow me on twitter too follow me on twitch all that other stuff y'all i'd probably put it on consistent or um slithery to be honest but um yeah maybe this right here or contact now let's go to the shooting badges now look you could rock something like this right now look if you do make this build all this other stuff don't use shot meter if you use shot stick all that other stuff and you know how to do that you know then, then don't don't even listen to what i'm saying but listen if you run no shot meter right even if you miss time your shit flexible release is going to click click kick in right that's the benefit plus the 90 man even if your shit off bro you feel me it's gonna like kick in when you shoot off right and um yeah with your shot meter you might not always shoot it right lag delay all this other stuff if you're gonna be dexing and all that other stuff you know running around screens and stuff like that you can have this up if you're not really gonna be doing that you could do the same with slippery off ball you feel me um difficult shots you know so when when you're all struggling to score you can go and fade at the midi at a high success rate i think this is the, like the best my nigga like um and if anything bro like if you're not really worried about tireless shooter if that don't really work the, this year hall of fame difficult shots bro get you your team a quick bucket if y'all struggling and you got hall of fame dead eye all these other badges like this is broken this is a broken build, bro. It is it is very broken. And if you're running screens with them, you can even upgrade the pick and popper. You maybe even could take off catch and shoot, stuff like that. You might not even need corner, bro. Since you're such a high rated shooter with sharp take, your team gonna have dimer, floor general. It's all up to you how bad you are. But um definitely the green, dead eye, hot zone, slippery. And range are the ones the ones that matter the most is range and hot zone the most so make sure you upgrade those first and then you st if you're still struggling to shoot in the corner bro man put put corner on silver and all that other shit but I'm, I'm saying bro this shit broken man this shit broken <laughs> telling you man now you look look if you went for like 14 playmaking and uh, no finishing attributes you know, you could have, you know, just upgraded, like, you know, it's simple shit, right? You know, you could have been posting up, like, little guards, and I don't know, bruh. You know, you could do something like this, you know? You know what? You just upgrade bailout, unpluckable, and quick first step. That's nine, you know? It, it, it's up to you, though. You know, you could rock something like this. I don't know. I don't know. I would probably do something like this. Now look, if you run in the three spot or the two spot, you know, you're really worried about shit. You can rock something like this, my boy. You know, you can rock something like this. Even even for the threes and all that other stuff and stuff like that. You know, um, yeah, like that gold rim protector, max wingspan, man, plus buff paint defense, man. You know, something like this or something like this. I don't know if box is good enough on bronze, but you know, man, bro, you gonna get a, you gonna get some stops, and and that's all that matters, bro. You're gonna be bigger than a lock. You're gonna have bigger wingspan than a lock. Your interior D, I think, is gonna be better than most locks, and they can get stops on centers. So you're gonna be able to get stops on centers as a stretch big. You feel me? So it's like. Mm. And then you got all the benefits of offense. This, this build a killer, my nigga. I'm telling you. I think this would probably be the overall best. You might have to lower clamps or intimidator 
to upgrade a rebound chaser on gold. I don't know if silver's good enough. Um, I don't know if you need pogo stick this year. Y'all let me know down in the comments. But um, if you do, you'll probably knock off clamps or intimidator. I don't know if you need box either. You know, um, silver would be good enough, but it, it all depends on what you playing, who you playing, all that other bullshit. But yeah, man, you just take the knowledge, apply it, and yeah. Anywho, I'm out that hoe. Make sure y'all go check out my other build videos, all that other bullshit. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hawk. Turn on them post notes, like up the goddamn video, and um, I hope y'all niggas have a beautiful day. I'll be streaming tonight after the playoffs most likely so go turn on the noties on the twitch drink a gallon of water a day go to the gym seven days a week adios